Can we talk about Europe quickly then next week? Sharks away and then Racing, yes. About Europe and we're going to Natal Sharks next week, which is where? In South Africa. South Africa. Are we done here now, Joe Marler? I'm really looking forward to South Africa. We're going to go to Live Village, which is an incredible orphanage out there. And I'm really excited to go out there and meet some lovely people. So the Sharks kick off the Heineken Champions Cup campaign with a useful win against Harlequins. This is my take on the match. So who are the Harlequins and why is this win of the Sharks significant? So the Harlequins last season, they ended third behind Leicester Tigers and Saracens. And currently in this season, they are also third on the Guinness Premiership behind Saracens and Sales Sharks. That's not bad. We're doing all right, but we want to we wanna kind of chase Saris down. We quite like to aim for that top two. It's not good enough to just be top four. So the Harlequins, they are the third best team in the Guinness Premiership. And that's why this win over them from the Sharks is considered to be a very good win. So key moments of this game in relation to the Sharks. So the Sharks, they began this game very strongly with tries from Pongi Numbanambi and two well-taken tries from Mapimpi. I like Mapimpi's second try where the Sharks had a scrum and Jalen Hendrickson, he took the ball from the scrum, did some sort of backward pass into Mapimpi's hands with no one in front of Mapimpi and Mapimpi scored the try. That was probably one of the tries of the match. The red card of Oxenchair also influenced the game. I think that the whole momentum of the Sharks shifted when Oxenchair got his red card. Many people are feeling very frustrated on these type of red cards that players are getting currently in all matches concerning rugby. So World Rugby is doing everything in their power to stamp out head injuries. However, most people feel that the way it's currently being handled is killing the game of rugby because rugby is a physical sport. There will be head contact. What if a incident like this happens at a rugby world cup final where a certain team are in full control of the match and there's an accidental head butt between two players and a red card is issued and that causes the, the team that was previously in control of the game to lose the game due to this red card. So my, my recommendation for solution is for all players from number 1 to 15, everyone to wear headgear. To me, that will solve this problem is for every player to wear headgear. Because seeing red cards being dished out the way it's currently being done is very frustrating for people watching a game. So, so the Harlequins, they open the game by scoring a very nice try by Charles Bassett in the fifth minute. From there onwards, it was just the Sharks. The Harlequins were 15 points behind the Sharks when the Oxenchair red card incident occurred. I thought that Andre Esterhuizen had a very good game against his former team. We scored two beautiful, useful tries to bring the Harlequins back into the match against the Sharks after the Sharks dominated the first stanza of the match. The Harlequins will definitely be a different kettle of fish when they play at home. So the Sharks, they will need to up a gear if they want to get points off the Harlequins game when they face the Harlequins on their home patch. I also felt that the, the try that was scored by Chamberlain to finish off the Harlequins was a very good try. It was a glimpse of what the Sharks can do if they, if they are synchronized properly. They were at a try. It started off by the forwards and it went through the back line and they scored a very good try. I must also give a shout, a shout out to Kevin Bosch. I think that Kevin Bosch, he improved a hell of a lot since last season. Last season, Kevin Bosch, he was very poor, but I feel coming in now since last week, his game has elevated to a new level, especially his goal kicking and his general play. My idea of the Heineken Champions Cup is that this tournament is a very good tournament for all participating teams and players that play in this tournament, especially with the introduction of the African players. In Europe, you have teams that are filled with players from various nationalities. However, South Africa is the only country that has 99 to 100% of players that are actually born in South Africa and that are eligible to play for the Springboks. So the Heineken Champions Cup is only good to increase the quality of the pool of players that's currently in South Africa, giving our young players basically international experience when playing against 
these French and English teams. So I think the Heineken Cup is an excellent competition to increase the quality of players within the South African setup. So guys, what do you think about the Sharks win over Harlequins? I thought it was a very good win. It's a very good start for the Sharks. Bearing in mind, they are currently very inconsistent. They, are, they haven't done well in the opening phases of the URC but I think that um, Neil Powell is doing something something is brewing with the Sharks and so far so good for the Sharks so what's your opinion of the game did you guys watch the game did you guys enjoy the game what's your take on the game um, chat with me in the comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel like this video and I'll catch you guys on my next video